And welcome ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs and cats, elephants and zebras, gypsies and fairies. Okay, this, I've been thinking about this since the last school shooting, and I decided to make a video about it. First of all, it's, a, it's an awful tragedy, and... Why people think it's okay to do that, I just don't, I don't know, I do not know. I have some opinions as to why we have started to cheapen life in this country. And... Um... I'm going to talk about those things. Let me, let me, let me preface by saying, when I was in high school, which was a long time ago, um, I didn't do it because I didn't have a vehicle and I didn't, well I did sort of own a gun, I owned my granddaddy's double barrel shotgun but I've never fired it, never will, it doesn't even work, um, but there were kids and, and, and they had gun racks in the, in the, the cabs of their trucks, and guess what? They didn't take their shotguns and rifles and pistols into the school and shoot people. They didn't shoot people in the parking lot. They just, we didn't do things like that. We just didn't do it. Um, I guess you could say we just knew that that was not the right thing to do and there were better ways to deal with problems. Uh, do I think bullying is a problem? Yes, but we had bullies in, when I was in school. In middle school, I happened to have been one of those bullies. Um, and nobody shot me or even beat me up, even though there were kids who could have beat me up, but they didn't. I would say most of those kids in that school could have whipped me, but they, they didn't. They knew that if I hit them and they didn't hit me, I got in trouble, not them. But see, the way schools and, and, and the courts work today, it doesn't really work out that way now everybody gets in trouble even the, the innocent parties and that's that's a part of the problem I think our uh, devaluing of human life is a serious problem with capital punishment which is state-sponsored murder look at all the innocent people that have been murdered Mr. Herrera in Texas. The U.S. Supreme Court acknowledged he was innocent. All the other courts acknowledged he was innocent. The, the, the uh, majority opinion was, well, he's been through the court system, therefore it's okay to kill him. And that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. None. And then you have Mr. Wellingham. And then you ha also have all those people that have been sent to death row, but have been released because it's been proven that they were innocent. Uh, and, and this goes to uh, misconduct of, of prosecutors, misconduct of law enforcement. Not all law enforcement do that, does that, not all prosecutors do that, but too many do that. And um, I, I saw an interview with, uh, I don't know who the uh, current DA for Bear County is, but I saw an interview with her, with the, was, I don't know if she's still there, I, I'm assuming somebody else is there now, and she claimed, oh, well, if I would have known that person was innocent, I wouldn't have prosecuted. B.S., you know you would have anyway, because you need your record to, you need all those prosecutions, all those guilty verdicts on your record. I don't believe you. I believe you. You may have even known that the person was innocent. Um, so we have capital punishment that goes too far. Um, we have unnecessary non-defensive wars. Constant warfare. In my lifetime, just my lifetime, 
how many wars have the, has the United States been in? I mean, in my lifetime, there's Vietnam, Grenada, Panama, Iraq, Afghanistan. Um, what was that? There was an island in, in the Bahamas. Um, that was Grenada. Sorry, that was Grenada. Um, you know, our, our troops were sent to aid other countries like the Philippines. And then you have the immorality where you have um, prostitution that's essentially sponsored by the U.S. military. You know, they, they, they actually, our military will actually provide health care to the prostitutes and stuff like that. That's sick. It shouldn't be done. On Okinawa, uh, I lived there for five years, and the Marines especially, they would, they would rape Okinawan women. And the worst that would happen to them, they'd get shipped to another duty station. Now, my understanding that has changed, and now they don't face U.S. justice. They face Japanese justice. You don't want Japanese justice. You will be found guilty under Japanese justice. They have a 99% con conviction rate in Japan. I looked it up, by the way. I looked it up. I think, you know, I, I don't think I've ever been to mainland Japan, but I'd like to go. You know, I tell you, I love Japanese food. I love it. But um, I'd like to I'd like to see Japan. Actually, I'd rather go back to Okinawa and visit there. But anyway, so you have the wars. You have abortion. Um, as for, you know... Godless. Well, I'm an atheist, and frankly, you know, the Bible is quite violent. Uh, there are things in the Bible that can be really scary, um, especially the Old Testament. You know how many people can be killed for no real reason in the Old Testament? How many crimes there are? So I don't go for that. Your morality is not based on your religion. But, um, and this keeps going out of focus, doesn't it? Or is it just my eyes? But, um, and then you have, like, what's going on right now. These, uh, you know, you, you have the, the government media, you, you know, and, If you're mentally ill, you still have every right to self-defense. You have every right to own a firearm. And you, what we have a, we don't have a gun problem. We have a problem with morality. We have a moral problem in this country. Otherwise, why are all these people doing these things? Another thing is we have the internet today, so we know about things where in the past we may never have heard about something that happened unless it was local or it would have been a little brief column in a newspaper or in a magazine and you, you, you know you got the magazines once a month maybe twice a month you got your newspaper once a day maybe once a week I remember uh, in Houston we had uh, you had morning editions you had evening editions you had a weekly edition and TV went off at like 10, 11 o'clock. Didn't come back on till 6 or 7 in the morning. Maybe 5 in the morning if you were lucky. I remember in, in Houston when, when they first started going 24 hours a day. It was like, wow. I wanted to stay up and watch it. But I couldn't stay awake. Um, but um, now you hear about something. You hear about things. You, know, you want gun control? Look at New York City. Look at Chicago. Strict, strict, strict gun control. And, and look at California as well. Strict, strict gun control. Yet yeah, those are some of the most violent places in the, in, in the country. Obviously gun control doesn't work. It's not working. You know, there, there's a, a movie I happen to like called Flatbush about an incident that it's a fiction, fictional account. But uh, it happens in the Flatbush neighborhood in New York. And these um, militia types 
decide they're going to take Flatbush and they're going to hold it ransom. And they get there and they're like, oh, we didn't think there'd be these many, this many guns in Flatbush. We thought we could just walk in and take it. And then the girl says, it's Flatbush. It's New York. What did you think was going to happen? And that's true. So, you know, that's my two cents.